back, guys. I'm Mel7. This is Football Manager 2018. We are back with PFK Montana in our GM Challenge Return to Glory save. That's what we called it. All right. So we played a few games since our last, uh, since you last saw, which was uh, this match against KA Gent. The, the end of our, um, of our attempt at Europa League qualification. So if you haven't looked up the Ghent altarpiece yet, you should do so now. Um, super famous piece of art. Uh, if you watch the movie The Monument Men um, or, or seen anything about World War II and the uh, rescuing oh, and looting of art of, on, on all sides, um, then then super interesting. Um, look it up. But uh, anyway, back to football. So um, I don't even remember if we showed this match, but we lost. So the first three matches we had in league play this year for our first year up in the Parva Liga were all losses. Um, in this case, we lost 0-2 to Cherno Morvarna. Um, played terrible, especially Munin. Coco picked up a little bit of a knock. Uh, then we continued the fun times with a loss against Ludogretz Rosgrad here. 1-2, um, and you can see Itov was sent off in the 72nd minute. He picked up two yellows um, and didn't play well on top of that. Um, offense has not been spectacular. And then, out of nowhere, um, against Locomotive, we just crushed them. Locomotive Gorn, Gorna Oryakovica. Locomotive Gorna Oryakovica. Mm. I probably completely did that wrong, but we are going to pretend it's perfect. So, um, and you can see here, we, we did okay. Um, Mihov got a goal early, ninth minute. Right, and then 45th minute with Ilya, 58th and 75th, he got the hat trick, and then just insult to injury, we got an own goal against him in the 62nd minute as well. So, and then we followed that up with a 3-0 win over Sarkozelo. Um, Ilya again, he got a 30, uh, one in the 31st, another penalty shot, uh, an extra time at the end of the first half, and then Mihov got another goal. Uh, this one wasn't quite as exciting, but a, a win is a win. You can see they had a player sent off in the 50th, and it still took us until the 95th minute in a 90-minute game to score a goal. So we FM'd him there. Um, we managed to steal the game. And you can see yellows galore. Galore. It was it was terrible. So I thought today we would do try to do two matches quickly. I thought we'd do Botev Plovdiv to make sure that I've given you a league match so far. Uh, they're currently in 13th place. It is away. Um, these are both going to be away games. And the other one is going to be against Maritza, who is uh, in Vitora Liga this season. Um, and this is going to be a cup match. So um, this is for the Coupa... Coupa Ne Bulg uh, Bulgaria. So that's the plan. Um, I've just looked up and realized we don't have a game for 21 days for reasons. So um, I'm going to hit continue for the next hour and a half, and we will be right back with Botev Plovdiv. All right, quick update on the transfer window, which did just end. We're still 14 days away. But let's go ahead and take a look at our transfers real fast, transfer history. Um, Mr. Adenji here turned us down, and uh, I'm not too upset about it because you can see he's a striker um, with a finishing of eight and a composure of nine. So, yeah, a striker, he does shoot with power, he knocks ball, he ties first-time shots. Doesn't have spectacular first touch. Yeah, I'm not upset about this. Um, he's an international, so we'd have to deal with him being gone. Now, I, realistically, I think that's fine. Uh, I'm just as happy that he did. Um, let's see. We are September, so we haven't really seen too much more. Um, let's look at some of this August stuff. A defender, 18 years old. 20-year-old defender center. He's actually looks to be pretty decent. Um, positioning's only 10, but he does have a little acceleration and pace. He makes good decisions. He's determined his work rate's not spectacular. Not as important, I think, for a defensive center. He doesn't have to do as much running and stuff, but, you know, be nice if he got in there. Um, but good marking, good tackling, and heading's not terrible. Jumping reach is a little bit low. He's only 5'9". Um, you know, we'll have to see how that goes. Nikolai Hirstrov um, looks very good. Um, our general manager really, really tried for attacking midfielders. In fact, he tried for the same one probably four times, and we got turned down every time. Um, ended up going to Sarkocello, I believe. 
Um, anyway, but this guy doesn't look too bad. He's got a good first touch. His long shots is okay. Decent technique. Mentals are spectacular with flair of 18. That's really good. And 15 vision. Uh, anticipation, not quite as high as you'd think with those, but still a respectable 10. Um, and good physicals. Um, everything except jumping reach, and uh, but 5'7". Um, so I think he's going to be good. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Angel is worried about his position on the squad. He keeps bringing it up. I keep having the coach talk him down. Every time we put in like four more offers on attacking midfielders, he starts to feel a little bit, you know, gets a little twitchy on us. Um, and then uh, Dimitar Georgiev. Uh, this is the striker we did end up with. Uh, finishing of 12, composure of 11. So a little bit better than the previous guy. Decent first touch, free kick taking, heading, long shots. Um, good jumping reach, and he's resolute, which is spectacular. Um, also, he can play as a target man. Uh, I, don't, I haven't looked to see what his actual target man role ability is, but with a jumping reach of 12 and a heading of 12, that's perfectly acceptable in here. Um, strength is 10. Balance and agility are eight and nine, so you know maybe he's going to get knocked off the ball a little bit, but um, not too bad. Uh, not the fastest player, but eleven and twelve is perfectly acceptable for where we're at. Um, so all in all, there's a lot of green on that. I think that's going to be fine. The resolute is is awesome, by the way. Fifteen determination, um, so we can definitely. In fact, let's see. Can we development tutoring? Who do we want to get tutored? Um, let's look at Martin real fast. He's already pretty good. He doesn't need a whole lot of tutoring, to be honest. He's already got a 15 determination, 18 years old. Well, we already, we already know, we already know what Petkov can bring to the table, right? We've already seen it. Um, how about, uh, Petko Zonkov? Um, he could use some, you know, he's 23 years old. We have played him on the right. Um, his determination is a three. I think this is who we go with. I think we go with Zonkov. I don't know that we're going to get much out of it. They are fairly different. Let's see if we can make that happen, though. Go ahead and do that. Um, so that's our transfers. I'll be back in another 14 days. Okay, guys. Match is finally today. Uh, 26 minutes the recording's been on. That's not too bad. Um, cause we probably talked for a good 10 of that already. So it didn't take us too long to roll through all this. Um, I'm going to try here, Stav. I know that I've been telling Angel of Luck that he shouldn't, he shouldn't worry, but, um, he probably should worry about his job, to be honest. Let's do a quick compare with Ristov. Um, so Angel of Luck, real quick, see, okay. Ristov is just a little bit better. Um, Angel of Luck's slightly better attacking, it looks like, but pretty much everywhere else... Uh, defending physical speed, vision. Um, we give the nod to Haristov. So not too bad. So next thing I would like to look at, I'd like to look at Ilyev versus Dimitar Georgiev here. So let's compare against uh, Ilyev here. And uh, we see that Ilyev, a little bit more physical. Um, Dimitar, a little bit more technical, better vision and more speed. So, mm, I mean, that kind of leans toward Dimitar there, right? Uh, Demeter? We'll go Demeter. Um, he also plays here, so we could also run him. Um, let's see. Let's look at Nikolay. There we go. Um, I mean, at the moment, I'm looking at running there. Um, so you can see he does fall down a little bit here. Um, doesn't compare as favorably with Nikolai there in midfield. But how does he compare against, say, uh, Angel of Luck? Um, mm, Angel might be out of luck here. He, Angel of luck might be out of luck because we can see here that um, Georgiev can essentially do everything he can do. And he's also better in the air. So as a sub for that spot, you know, we can free up a spot by, by not even subbing him in. We could do it that way. Now, for the moment, the way I have it set up is I've got Ilyev starting um, because Ilyev has a hat trick in two out of the last three games. He just won player of the month for, for the Parva Liga. Um, so he's done well. So what I have is I have Kristov in as attacking playmaker. I've got uh, Dimitri here as um, the sub for there. Angel of Luck for the sub for here. Although eh, now um, 
We've got Coco. Right now, I've got the traditional wingers out there. Um, so Petkov on the left, Sergei on the right. We could put Coco as a winger here, or we could put him as inside forward there if we need to. We've got Yavchev as our sub for the middle. Um, as And then we have um, Emin Ahmed for a sub on the right. We've got Manchev for a sub in the center. And we've got Nichev for the sub on also for the sub on the right. I have two subs on the right. Do I not have a defensive limp? That's, oh, he plays right, left, and center. But I think hmm, Nichev or Kolev. Then I'm going to put Kolev in there. So we have a sub um, for the center and then a sub for left and right. So that should cover everything. Borovic in goal. Let's play some football. See how things are going here. Submit team. Uh, yep, that's fine. Give people some numbers. Turn down my speaker volume. All right. Um, both teams play in similar formations. They're playing mid centers where we're playing defensive mid. Um, that's about the only real difference there. Let's see there. Fernando is leading their team in goals. Um, he's got three goals in 13. That's not spectacular. Um, and their highest rated is 695. Our highest rated is Ilyev um, with a 774. He's got 12 goals in nine appearances. Um, and then top assists happens to be Petkov with uh, a goal and four assists in 10 appearances. So not too shabby. Uh, give, don't know that we really needed a morale boost. We've been... Morale's fine. Uh, tunnel. Um, any team will miss him, but they'll be fine. And we're underway. So I'd like to take a second to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Um, if you saw this morning's video, then I may have already done so. Um, Stoy Stoyanov does not like Christmas. He's angry, and so he's decided to tackle somebody. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are having a great Christmas. I hope family and friends are there. Ilya has picked up a... Well, you know what? I wasn't going to do a sub quite yet. Um, but we do want to see what Georgiev can bring to the table, so we're going to take a chance here. Do a quick sub, put him in, see what happens. Fingers crossed. Uh, I think Ilyev will be fine. He was already bouncing back. He's already up to 91%. Um, so it shouldn't be much more than just a little knock. But um, anyway, hope you have family and friends either visiting you or you're visiting family and friends. Uh, if you've taken the time today on Christmas to watch this, thank you very much. I appreciate it. But you should probably stop and go back and hang out with your family and friends. Um, we all do need a little break here and there, though. So no complaints there. We don't seem to be doing much here. Um, they're not particularly good this season. And they're not bad. I mean, they're well, maybe they are. They're 13th. Um, we're doing. We're a little bit higher up in the the league roster at the moment. But they seem to be outplaying us at the moment. Uh, let's see what happens here. Georgiev on the ball. Little pause. Feeds it back to Yordanov. Uh, Sergei has it on the right. Decides to feed it back into Georgiev early. Um, guess he didn't feel like he had much out there. We're going to go out to Petkov, but that was a horrible pass. And he didn't try hard enough to come back. And uh, Tifanov did work hard for it. So uh, boots it forward. Fernando Viana up to Bozilov. Good passing in there. They're managing to keep the pressure on. Uh, we haven't been bad defensively there. Feed it up. Got ahead on it. Borovic, it looked like he got his hands in it, but just kind of pushed it in. Maybe he pushed it up against the bar and it bounced in. I, I don't really know. If that's the case, he's obviously way too far back. It looked like he pushed it up into the net. Like his, his just positioning was so far back that there was no way he could make a save off of that. Um, that's disappointing. Um, and pretty bad goalkeeping, to be fair. <laughs> we need something back. Uh, and again, a horrible pass in. Um, and we didn't put any pressure on the goalkeeper there feeding out. It would have been nice. Petkov steals that one, though. Kristoff has it. Back across to Yordanov. Over to Georgiev. Georgiev's back out. The guy that's a foot and a half away, we just kicked it right against him. Um, you'd think he would be seen there. Uh, he is wearing bright yellow, for God's sake. Another, another bad pass in. Um, man, our passing in has just been terrible. Um, I'm saying um too many times on top of that. We're just, we're just all over the place. 
There we go. No, no, we just gave it right back to him. Oh, more horrible goalkeeping by Borovic. What is his first touch? Because, hmm, can we click on him? It says click to view him. There we go. Four clicks in. Um, first touch is 10. It's not garbage. It's clearly not very good today, though. Maybe he also hates Christmas. Um, we've got three shots, one on target, two long shots, no chances. Um, our defensive passing is absolute garbage. Well, I just dropped up to 61, but our offensive passing is 68. Um, whoops. A little confused there at the halftime. Um, revenge. Well, let's try that. I'm not sure that's where I would have gone. Let's look at our tactics real fast. We have shorter passing. We're supposed to be floating crosses, close down a little less. Clear ball to flanks. I'm not really seeing any of that. Um, not really seeing anything except some really bad early passing in from our flanks. Let's see if we can get something going here. I mean, we're only down a goal. It's not like we can't come back from this. Um, they haven't been exactly lighting the world on fire either, so um, it's doable. Um, doesn't appear to be doable the way things are going. Uh, we haven't had a shot so far in the second half, and they're continuing to pile them on. Munin bravely got in the way of a slow kick on the ground. I understand if you put your face in front of it, but... There we go. Cleared that one back out, but I mean, like, perfectly. Like, there was no way it could have gone anywhere. There's nobody else along here. There's one guy that went, boop, right to him. Um, great job of clearance, guys. You have about a two-degree angle that's going to put it where, where he is, and, and anywhere else, it's going to go some elsewhere. There we go, Sergey. can you get it? Oh, no, no, we put it off the post. It was a nice attempt, though. I like that. Just didn't get anything going on. Let's let's encourage. We're just we're just doing nothing. I mean, that's just. Let's move our guys up a little bit. Let's see if that's going to help some. Um, confirm. I think something's happened. There we go. And Itov's been terrible today. Let's go ahead and sub him out. Um, Yavchev, <sighs> Munin's been bad. Let's go ahead and put Ahmed in. It's probably enough for 72 minutes. That's all our subs right there. In fact, so it doesn't really matter if I want to do Petkov, manages to get that one, feeds it all the way up to Sergei. Sergey's kind of all alone up there, but he's got guys charging in. If he can pull some people out left, they're doing a pretty decent job. Georgiev, Petkov, oh my god, Petkov. He tries to boot it over the brick wall and back. Apparently, he didn't like whoever's car was parked back there. And he, he was sure he was going to hit it. It was a half chance. Um, there's going to be a lot of this this season, guys. <laughs> that's... That's how it's gonna be. First season up. We're not. We're not. We're not trying to win everything. We're just trying to keep from coming down. We did get our passes completed, average up to seventy percent, but pass, our defensive passing is still under 60, 58, 57. Been really bad. Nedelchev boots it up to Georgiev. That's not too bad. It's not really a clear to flanks though, is it? I'm out to Sergey. Georgiev at least cleared it, and Sergey. Uh, I don't know. He just lost the ball. He's dribbling and it just it just rolled out of bounds. But he didn't notice. He cut in with it. Or he thought he was cutting in with it. That was horrible. Um, it still leaves us in 11th place. But you can see um, they're still in 12th even with that win. So they have played badly. Um, so we're going to yell. Um, wait, did he say they were excellent? Their efforts weren't excellent. Do you see any excellence up here? No. I don't know what he's talking about. Assertive. Um, it wasn't pleasing. I can fault you. I can still fault you. Not happy. We we lost to a bad team. How how come we don't get any options to say you're bad? I mean, that's just stupid. Here we have two to three days. Um, makes a professional debut. All right. So we'll continue on. We, we've got a match here in just a couple days. And we can just click through that. See how easy it is and nice it is to click through these when you're... Uh, uh, shoots it. Why do we want Nedelchev shooting with power? 
He shouldn't be shooting at all. And despite the fact we played three games in a week, he thinks we should boost up our training intensity. Clearly attacking though would benefit us because we can't shoot the ball. Um, man, my assistant's an idiot. I don't care about that. I don't have to deal with any of it. Match analysis. Okay. Seem to be playing okay. They like the middle. Um, we'd probably take us off of uh, that. Are we, is that what, yeah, team. Let's try, um, let's try attacking movement because clearly we need to do something. We'll let him handle that. And let's see if we can get a win against Maritza in the cup. Uh, because I think that's our only real. Mihov is fine. Ilyev is fine. Kristen Ilyev is fine. All right, because we have this. We we still have the bug for board expectation, despite the fact they said it's fixed. Um, we reached second qualifying round, so we did fine there. Shouldn't that be a board confidence of a hundred? If you complete your requirement, you've completed it. I mean, it's not like it's a like we we do we didn't quite complete it. We we completed it. Um, anyway, second, we're supposed, we have to win this one and get to the second round. So we'll see how that goes. Match preview, team selection. Uh, I, I, we go again, I think. Um, it didn't go well for us the first time, but you know, um, we'll see how his gets along here. It's my green screen. Eh, kind of. I didn't know if the Mountain Dew would be completely invisible or not. Encourage him a little bit of morale. Sure. Um, completely focused, itching to set the record straight. Sure. All right. Mihav, we got the whites on today. There's nobody here. Oh, there's a couple people back there. We had a couple, a couple fans show up. Clearly, we're not a big draw. You'd think, you know, fans had come to see a team that just got promoted from Vito Oh, Petkov. Oh my gosh. That was low angle. We got, we, we didn't see any of that last week, did we? Well, last game, I guess it was just a couple days ago. Um, but we'll take it. Two minutes in, we got a one nothing lead. Um, Munin had the throw into Hristov. Boots it all the way across. Roshkov gets a head on it, or a hand on it, but unable to push it forward, and Petkov just kind of sneaks in behind and, and heads it in from, you know, an inch away. I'm a little bit surprised that went in. You'd think if you jump at all, the header's going to go over at that range. But I guess he got it. Because it didn't look like he did this. It looked like he was going up. So, Borvik with the goal kick. Nedelchev heads it back down, ends up at the feet of Stove. He's going to take a run at the, at the corner there. He's got guys in the middle. We have people there as well. Mihav got a head on it. Oh, and they booted it hard off to the right. Our goalkeeper again did that. They go sideways in the midair, but they don't actually go anywhere. I'm not sure that that's physically possible. Um, Sports Interactive should probably look at their physics act, uh, um, engine because um, I don't really know how you do that. Kristov dribbled, got taken off it, but manages to get back. Gets it into Itov, who dribbles in as well. Um, we're really supposed to be passing, not dribbling, but okay. Um, Kristov feeds it in again to Petkov. Exact same thing. Rashkov was there, but he just is coming in at too much of an angle. He gets a hand on. He's not able to push it out. It just kind of rolls off between his hands and the and the and the near post. Goalkeepers still can't defend the near post in this game. That's the moral of that story. That's that's not a goal you're going to see very often in real life. Um, he's fallen down, slaps at it, and eh, maybe, maybe. We'll take it, though. 2 nothing. We need some wins, right? We need some feel-good here. They've actually had more shots than we have. Um, and that's not surprising. I mean, we're not we're not hugely improved from a, a second-league team, team here. Um, you know, first year up here, we didn't sign huge players in our first season up, um, which probably makes sense. I mean, you don't know if you're staying or not. Don't spend a lot of money in case you're right back down next season. Uh, modest improvements and just try to hang. And if you, that looks possible, then, then maybe second year we spend some money. Oh, nice little tackle by Munin. I like that. Out to Ilyev. Uh, nobody tried for it. That's disappointing. We just, it rolled between us to their guy. That's pretty poor. Um, clearly we need to think about our work rate a little bit more here. Um, Petkov was left all alone. And uh, easy goal for him. 
Nobody saw him over there. Nobody on the def on our defense, our goalkeeper, anybody. He was just standing there by himself. Everybody comes rushing over. Well, yeah, everybody rushes over here. Everybody closes on him. He's just standing there. Whose guy was that? Sergei's. Well, Sergei's not the defender. It, it was should have been his right there. Should have been Munin's guy. Um, that was pretty bad. Um, so positioning also is an issue. Uh, you know, like I say, is what it is. We're still up. All we have to do is win this one. Uh, we've had one clear-cut chance, a half chance. You know, with essentially six people back, you'd think somebody would guard him. You know, we got our flat four plus two defensive midfielders. There's plenty of people in the middle. The wing, the winger should not be collapsing, or you know, full back. Um, they've doubled us on shots. Um, luckily, only two have been on target, and eight of them have been long. So I guess that's the benefit of that. Um, possession's been terrible for us, though. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna knock that back to counter. I don't know if it took that or not, but we'll find out. Uh, Let's check tactics, make sure that my switch to counter worked. Um, nobody's been spectacular. Hristov, like I say, hasn't been lighting the world on fire. Um, let's go ahead. I just don't think Angel's better, but let's give him a... Let's, let's put him in, because we've won games with him in. We haven't won anything with, with Hristov in. Um, everybody else has been more or less okay. Nedelchev hasn't been great. Do we want to try Millen? I think we just go with what we got right here. At least for now. Maybe we, maybe we sub in Millen a little later. Get him some play time. Say so we're not going to find an easier match for us than, than playing a Vitora Liga team this season. So we're barely up for that, though, apparently. But, you know, I guess no news is good news from here on out. So, of course, we got news. Genshev over to Stoyev. Beautiful pass in. Again, we've got four guys in there. Nobody nobody feels the need to get in front of him or block him. And Borovic doesn't feel the need to stop goals. Even though there's a man standing there, he wasn't ready for it. Um, I'm going to throw a demand. No, I'm not because it's... There we go. Demand more. Yeah, and he just feeds it in. Nobody's there. Nobody's watching him. I mean, there were people there. They just didn't feel the need to be where they should be. They're like, hey, how you doing? They were talking about Christmas. Here's your family coming over. You got big presents today. Um, you know, what did you get your kids? Not playing defense. And uh, we're going attacking. Because we need to do something. I don't know how many people were standing there. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had nine people there, 10 with the goalkeeper. Nobody even flinched. Nobody looked at him. Everybody here has their back turned to it. You know, they... That is absolutely terrible. Demand more. Um, tactics. Uh, Angel, you're clearly not helping. Put Demeter in. Demeter, excuse me. Let's see if we can get something going. Roshkov, free kick from the back there. Nobody challenged it. Well, we challenged, we just didn't do well. This is a team, by the way, that doesn't head the ball at all. They they uh, routinely get their, according you know to the little deal, right? It said that, that they're horrible in the air. Um, but we can't outhead them. So, Roshkov, again, tries to feed this one out. Kazakov, let's see if they can get something going this time. I, I like the fact we closed down on that to, to kind of take that away from him. That was nice. Let's see, can we get something going? Yordanov, up to Ilyev, over to Georgiev, back to Itop. Nope, nope, nope. We just feed it right to him. No, nothing on it. He's standing right there. No, no attempt to beat him at all. Just rolled it to his feet. Um... At least shots have come up. 
Uh, it does appear that we're getting beat really, and Nedelchev has just been garbage. Um, it does appear that we are, in fact, uh, let's see, Yordanov, let's get Yachev in there. I can't make more substitutions. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, I could have made the one, though. Come on, let's get this in. It does look like we're really having trouble in the midfield, and that was terrible as well. Take it away. There we go. Oh! Ilyev, why didn't you even attempt that? I know it was moving, but... Run up, put some pressure on him, make him make a good save. In case he bobbles it, you're there. Nothing. Uh, we deserve to lose this game, uh, is, the, is the moral of the story. Um, and... I don't know that we deserve to lose it that bad. Um, and despite the fact that they don't really have a bigger presence in the midfield than we do, we can't get through their midfield at all. Um, you know, that's what it looks like. It looks like they just completely shut us down. We're completely unable to make any sort of passes um, anywhere. Um, our defense isn't... That was actually decent defense. It was just a spectacular kick. Let's, let's be nice uh, in that case. But, um, yeah just completely incapable of doing anything as far as I can tell with this team you know this is this is a, a, a lower half Vitora Liga team that completely kicked our butt um, despite the fact their defense had a defender playing a 6-2 as well um, Sergei's got that one up to Munin this is just a couple seconds um, see we can't feed anything in our target man can't win a head um, our defense can't win headers uh, we can't make passes in um Nobody's. He should have gone for that. He was right there at his feet, and he just stood there and watched it. Uh, our work rate's bad. Georgiev is going to come in here and probably give the goal back to the keeper. Oh, we snuck one through there. I'll take that. Got a goal for the for for our new new guy. That's that's good. Um, I don't think we need to watch it though. It wasn't wasn't really all that exciting. Our getting rid of an attacking midfielder going two strikers seemed to help, but that's going to hurt us again in the midfield. Um, you know, they've only got the two guys there, too, but they seem to be able to roll through it a lot easier. Um, he's just going to feed it back. They're just killing time. You know, in theory, this was over two minutes ago. There we go. End of match. Uh, we're going to yell. Uh, it wasn't It wasn't disappointing. No excuses. You're not talking yourself into a starting position there, Angel. I know you're worried, but when, you, when the whole team plays badly against a Vitor Liga team... We had one goal this season, competition-wise, and that was to win that game. Goal bonanza. I guess, yeah, seven goals. Terziev. Um, man, I don't know, guys. We may not stay up. Um, and I don't think it's the general manager's fault this time. I don't think I don't think the challenge is... is if we fail, it's not because of him. Um, he's given us some decent players. I, at least I believe he has. Although, let's... Let's take a look really fast. Um, attributes, mental. Uh, I'm interested in work rate. Seems to be fine. Um, Orichev, it's pretty poor. Angel of Luck, it's pretty poor. Our goalkeeper. Um, but not terrible. I mean, really, Orichev is the only one that bothers me you know, to have a fullback that doesn't work. And, and in fact, um, I think we're going to go back to Kolev there. Uh, maybe Kolev was injured. Maybe that's why I had it that way. Um, so that was pretty poor. But otherwise, I don't think our work rate is bad. That shouldn't be the issue. Determination is pretty good. Um, you know, our lowest is eight. Um, Blagoev, who is on our on our not needed list, we still can't find somebody. And Orichev again down there at the bottom. So clearly we don't want him in there and Angel of Luck. Yeah, I'm I'm not seeing Angel as the guy we want up there, right? Um, he play. Oh, he's playing a match. Oh, he's not able to play against his parent club next next game. Um, that's fine. Where's Nichev? Oh, he's 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 down here as well. Um, and Munin, also. But his sub, Ahmed, is also not great determination. So that's not not ideal. Um, I still can't find Nichev, though. There he is. He's way up there. Okay, that's fine, because clearly he's coming in for that, and that may be a better sub. 
Because oftentimes when we got to bring somebody in, it's because things are going bad, right? Um, and he's not the world's greatest defensively, 11, 10, and 11, but he's not terrible. So anyway, um, I think that's probably it. Um, two quick matches, a little bit of transfer action. Um, be nice to get some wins, but we're not. We're still not doing terrible. We'd like to say if we can just stay up, and we are up at the moment. Uh, I think. Um, what are the rules? Let's verify that. I, I may be completely wrong there. Uh, oh no, we, we go from here, and then we go into the second half. Is that what we do? Stages overall rules. Yeah, bottom eight go to the go to the relegation group. So and then and then we go from there. So let's see. Can it let it? It's odd that you can't look at the rules for other phases. Does that not make sense to anybody else? I should be able to look at the rules regardless of what time of season it is. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear her snoring or not, but she's snoring loudly as she sleeps in her sunbeam there. Good for her. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time. Cheers.